Hi, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 313, brought to you by the Nokia NA10. I used to think of myself as a very organized person. To me, it's much easier to be organized in school than in real life because in real life you have paper coming at you from all different directions. There are receipts, business cards, invoices, press clippings, and the list just goes on and on like a gigantic snowball rolling at me, and I'm afraid one day it will plow me under. This morning I was introduced to a box that's so revolutionary I want to lick it. It's called the Zam Box. It scans in documents, business cards, and receipts. That's been done before. It converts scanned docs to PDF files. Nothing new there. Here's where it shines. After a paper is scanned and converted, it's dropped in a box. The included software catalogs the location and contents of the document so that you know exactly where to find what you're looking for. When the box is filled, you close it up, label it, and put it in storage. As I prepare for our year-long road trip, I'm noticing smaller, portable versions of things that take up space in a home or office. Zizzer, with an exclamation point like Yahoo is handheld paper shredder. It shreds up to five layers of paper at a time using 28 compact razor sharp teeth. I'm noticing this brief has a theme. It's stuff you can run paper through. Let's switch gears. I've talked about light panels on the brief before. They're small LED lights used in pro TV and film production. It's a great light with low energy consumption and very low heat. Light panels decided to make a version to fit consumer camcorders. It's called Light Panels Micro and it runs on four AA batteries. It's lightweight enough to fit on a small handheld camcorder, and it produces a bright soft light that doesn't change color temperature when you dim it. Now, this isn't something you'd use in an audience filming your kid in a play. It's for working pretty close up to give your subject sparkling eyes and a glowing face. It's a great option for people wanting to do web video. Also, if you're a film geek who likes to watch director's commentaries, you might get a kick out of the Light Panel's website. They have several stories about how the lights were used in different movies and TV shows. To me, it's fun to know where and when certain equipment is used and then try and spot it, but I'm a dork like that. Neil and I feel like our biggest geek weakness is that we're not into gaming. I know that Guitar Hero is wildly popular, so I can only assume people who love it would enjoy a handheld portable version. There is one now. It's three by seven and a half inches. It has a built-in speaker, a small LCD screen, and it's controlled by thumb buttons. The neck on the guitar folds down for ultimate portability. If you play, let us know if this mini axe is mildly or wildly intriguing by leaving a comment at geekbrief.tv. Going through stuff to sell on eBay before our big trip, I found our very first digital camera. It's it's a Vivitar Vivicam 3000. It's 0.77 megapixel and it has one megabyte of internal storage so it'll hold between 4 and 24 pictures depending on the compression setting. This probably isn't going to find a home on eBay but it would be sad to throw it away. You guys have any ideas? Look at this thing. That's it for this week. I sent my N800 to a Geek Brief viewer who wrote a long email telling me how much stuff he's purchased that he's seen on the show. I'm not giving up my N810 anytime soon though, so if you want one, use my promo code GeekBriefTV. You can get ordering info at podshowoffers.com slash N810. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. There are receipts, business cards, invoices, pres- <laughs> Cards. Is... <sighs> I've talked about light panels on the brief before. I'm not ready. Oh. <laughs> stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Has the smallest LED screen ever. Like Yahoo.